Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So for this video, this was a question that somebody DM'd me and I gave them advice in my DMs about this but I decided that I needed to film a video on it because it's something that I've experienced myself and I know that a lot of people fall into numbness essentially and for me numbness and sadness are completely different because numbness is where you like don't feel anything and you literally can't even tune into your emotions because there's a block there and sadness is obviously an emotion so I feel like what this person was really saying was that they're feeling sad and then the numbness is where they're trying to block that sadness so and that happens to so many of us and I've done this a million a million times but being aware of that fact is literally the first step into being being able to change it so they wanted to know how to be healthy and how to be organized and I think they kind of wanted to like clean up their space and environment and really just make themselves feel better essentially and transform their day-to-day -day life but for me I feel like you can't do that when you're feeling numb or when you're feeling sad because you're not in the right headspace or frame of mind to be able to then go and meal prep a healthy meal or go and like clean up your space or something. You're just not going to want to do that. So instead of trying to force yourself to do that, I feel like personally, you just let go. Like, I don't need to clean up. I don't need to make a healthy meal right now. I need to go and feel this emotion because sadness is trying to creep through. And instead of distracting myself or trying to force myself to do something that I don't feel like doing, let me surrender to this sadness and feel that sadness, you know? So like when sadness is coming up, let it come up, cry. Literally, let yourself cry. Or even if you don't feel like crying, but you just feel sad, like you might wanna just lay down in for a minute and just lay there and let your mind think about it and let it just kind of, take over your body and just process it. I don't really know how to put it into words because it's a feeling. So for me, I feel like instead of trying to force yourself to do things and to be active and to try and make changes, if there's an emotion coming up, you need to address that first. You need to feel that first, especially when it comes to numbness, because this is the kind of um, start of or spark into depression for me is when you feel a bit numb or when you feel extremely sad you can end up going towards the direction of complete despair and complete misery and just a full lack of control over your life where you just can't get out of bed you know like it can transition into that if you don't allow yourself to feel the feels <laughs> so I think number one thing before you try and take care of yourself before you try and seek inspiration to get out of bed you need to feel the feels and let yourself be sad because there's nothing wrong with being sad all of us feel sad so there's just nothing wrong with it and then once you start to do that and you actually take care of yourself in the sense of taking care of your emotions in the sense of allowing yourself to feel them the inspiration will come by itself it will come naturally because you're addressing the issue and the root issue. When you go into that sadness, it's not just the emotion that comes, it's the thoughts that come with it. So you'll start thinking about the reasons why you feel sad. They'll start coming up naturally into your mind because they actually are what's triggering the emotion in the first place is your thoughts. So you'll be able to hear those thoughts of why, of, of all of the, um, situations that are creating the sadness and when you hear those thoughts that's what you need to work through it's those situations it's your perception of those situations that you need to work through so this is where self-care comes in in the sense of shadow work and in the sense of self-awareness and paying attention to and observing your thoughts 
So you observe your thoughts and become aware of the story that they're telling you as to why you're feeling sad. And that's when you can then work through that story to change that story, to perceive it from a different angle and to start to look for the beauty in that story and not just the sadness. Like even though you let the sadness come up and you acknowledge the sadness, you can then look at where the beauty lies. You can look at where the pain lies. You can look at where the regret lies or where the guilt lies or where the shame lies. You can literally go through all of these different emotions that are on the chakra scale and look at where they are in this situation like do you feel this emotion towards this situation as well and just go through the four things so you'll go through pride you'll go through guilt you'll go through um neutrality you'll go through all of the emotions on that scale and just see if you feel them towards this situation and it will really help you process the situation and come to understand it from multiple angles where you can see the beauty of it and see the pain of it at the exact same time because they're both real and true at the exact same time, if that makes any sense. So it's just being able to see the situation from all angles and once you start seeing the bigger picture and the lesson that it's bringing you and the gift that it brings you even though it's painful and even though it's sad you will start to find inspiration in your life you'll start to realize the all the things that you do have all of the blessings that you have and the fact that you have yourself and the fact that you're brave for even facing these emotions like you'll just start to slowly pick yourself back up once you are doing your shadow work but you have to be doing it to pull yourself back out and I feel like um, depression and sadness and things when you get stuck there it's because you're not looking from any other angle you're just looking from that one so you get stuck and of course you would get stuck because if you're just seeing all of the misery you're gonna stay in misery aren't you like that makes sense and that's normal so it's important to start looking at it from all angles of perception and not just that one so that the inspiration will come by itself and you don't need to worry about that you don't need to force that it will come by itself as you go on this process of healing because that's essentially what you're doing when you feel numb and you feel sad it's an indication that something needs your attention within yourself something needs healing something needs your love and attention and focus and acknowledgement so yeah and then before you know it you'll actually feel the spark of inspiration to tidy up your space or to go and meal prep and take care of yourself or to go and shower like you'll you'll feel that urge to go do that because you're focusing on something else like your focus has shifted away from complete despair and maybe now you've flowed into i don't know you've flown into um like hope or something or faith or maybe you've flown into joy, maybe you've flown into love, but that doesn't mean that you won't come back down to despair again, or down to guilt, or down to shame, like we flow all the time, we're moving constantly like this, you know, you don't just feel one emotion, and then that's it, you feel them all, so you may well move into joy, and then you might move back down to despair, and then you might move to a pride, because you're proud of yourself for addressing it or doing something that day and then it might move to sadness and then it might move to enlightenment because you've just remembered the bigger picture of the universe and the fact that we're all interconnected and this isn't even real it's just a hologram and then it might move back down to sadness again because it's still real in this experience and it feels painful and you don't like what's just happened so you're going to constantly fluctuate and it's completely fine and you need to let yourself fluctuate okay so let yourself feel it let yourself shift your perception to all of these different emotions and all of these different angles and the inspiration will come for you to pick yourself back up only when it's time only when you're ready so you don't need to force that or rush that so i hope this video was helpful definitely comment down below if you have any other video topics or anything that you want me to um expand on and i will do that and also you can check out the description box below for links to my phone number because i do send daily inspirational spiritual thoughts as well as little um clips from these videos now i've started sending those to you guys because you all said you wanted to receive them so definitely check out my phone number you can text or whatsapp me and my social media is down there my music everything about me is in the description box below and i will see you in the next episode bye
Yes. You could say I love you. I can't get enough, boy. I just want you to myself.